anyway, so this is our new Fast 102 LSX RT intake. And the reason it's called the LSX RT is because it's designed for the truck. And as, as we can see here, guys, I've got all my, this is basically, this was a six liter out of a truck. So I've still got all the truck accessories, power steering, alternator, all that stuff, water pump. So basically what it is, is they put the 102 throttle body in exactly the same center position as our factory 80 mil right here. And this is again, a truck intake, right? So again, this is an unboxing video, guys are popular. So let's just do this. I'll pull this out and I'll, yeah, I'll pull it out. That's a good, that's a nice saying, right guys? Pull it out. And then we can see, oh, look at that, eh? See, there we go. There we go, guys. So, you can read that? Gen 146602M, Gen 3 truck manifold. So Gen 3, that's what this engine started out as. It's a Gen 3 six liter. So, this should work, right guys? So anyways, okay, let's just pull this thing out of here. And we can look at it. Oh, look at that. Very nice. <laughs> I should have got my throttle body to show you, but I'll, I'll make another video when I, uh, when I have this thing on there. So anyways, let's just take this out of the box here. Plastic. Oh, look at that, guys. Exciting. Yeah, so that's the one, eh? Okay. So that's our LSX RT 102 fast for 102 mil throttle body. So that'll be nice. I got one inside. And I've got BTR fuel rails because I did buy the BTR intake first. Of course, it didn't fit. And uh, that kind of sucked. And the good thing about this intake, they give you all the uh, gaskets too. So you got your big O-ring for the, this guy here, I can see the big one. That's for our throttle body. Then we've got all the small ones for the ports, right? So that's good. Yeah, so they get, you don't have to buy intake manifolds. And you get a couple of plugs for the stuff you're not using. And your map sensor goes up here. And uh, yeah, they tell you the drill size, depending on what style map sensor you have. So you can put your map sensor up here right or you can put it back here let me just uh, yeah so let's just get these or i'll show you you guys are still with me yeah so you can basically put your map sensor right here right that's this guy right here on here i had to make this work so a map sensor right there so you got two two options you can put it here and it give you the drill size depending on what style you got like if you got the o-ring map sensor i think that you drill it out because right now these are sealed so you drill those out right brake booster right here or you can put uh, actually this yeah we can put the brake booster right here and we use one of these for our uh, boost compensated or boost reference fuel pressure regulator so they got all the connections here and I'll have to modify something up here for my uh, my throttle body no my throttle body but my uh, my throttle yeah so right here so that's up here which it's a really nice piece guys so yeah, so that's the LSX RT for truck 102 intake. So these things make power basically from like 1800 to like, uh, it says 6,000, but when Holdner tested it, it was, uh, these things were making peak power at 6,900, which is perfect. Okay, so 6,900, 7,000. So you can rev these things up there and it'll still make wicked top end power. So the combination I have here will work perfectly because this is more of a low RPM deal. So, so far I've only brought it up to about 58, 1500 just testing and it pulled like crazy. So worked well. So I didn't need the 8,000 RPM manifold. So this thing is better for this, for this car here because I've only got 355 gears. So anyways, uh, yeah, 355 gears. We've got a 4085 transmission and we've got a 3200 FTI stall converter. So uh, everything works good. Uh, we're gonna, you know, be shifting it around. Uh, like again, Holdner said this thing makes power peak at about 6,900, 7,000. So, you know, so we can basically shift at 66, 67, 65 even six and we'll still be fine. But we also have potential for a lot more power to be produced. And we can adjust our shift points as required depending on what we're doing, if we're racing, whatever, who's who we're racing, stuff like that. So yeah, so this should be good guys. So it'll make power all the way up to seven, no problem. Because when Holdner tested it on different engines, and of course that's a 408, so it should, you know, it should be a little lower because I'm, I'm not sure if he tested a 408 or he tested a, uh, a six liter, but the bigger the engine, the, low, the lower the RPM band will be, or power band. So yeah, it should work good and uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyways guys, so I just wanted to make an unboxing video because everybody seems to like these things. So again, we have the instructions in here and uh, we've got some fasteners, right? 
got all our fasteners right here and let me just uh, pop this open real quick if you guys are still watching so I wanted to see where it said about the map sensor there's two different uh, styles of map sensors right depending on what you got and I, I can't remember the drill size but uh, let me just go over here if you guys are still watching I'm not sure if you are Oh, they didn't even, are you serious? They didn't even fucking staple these papers together? Fucking idiots. Seriously, eh? Jesus, man. Didn't even staple these papers together, guys. Like, what the F? Yeah, here's all the, uh, you know, optional front bake booster. That's that's all the connections up here. Number five here, throttle cable bracket hold down. I'll have to, I'll have to modify something for that. You see that, guys? Number seven, yeah, canister purge valve if you have that. I'm gonna put my manifold air temp in there because uh, as you can see here, guys, I've got my manifold air temp right here. So we'll put this into here. I'll, it's, I think it's a 3.8 NPT. Yeah, 3.8 NPT, I made a video on that too. So 3.8 NPT, it'll be, it'll be this one here. This one, this is a forward one. I'll use this guy here. Yeah, see there, it's all sealed, right? So you basically have to drill it first and then this will be tapped with a 3.8 NPT. Then I can just screw my manifold air temp, this guy here, into that manifold. So that'll be good. Right? See optional map front sensor location. Let's see. Seal, drill through. That's the front one, number four right here, like I showed you. Up there, and then there's one on the back, right? I read these instructions online. And... Uh, I'm not sure where it said. I'm not sure, I can't remember where it said the uh, size of the drill. All right, guys. I don't think you're still watching, but if you are. I can't believe this fucking cheap bastard didn't staple us together. Like, are you fucking kidding me, man? Jesus Christ. Fuck. All right, guys, so just another scene here. So here's our LSXRT 102 intake manifold and I have attached the throttle body. So what I wanted to show you guys is the uh, steam ports on the LS. So basically the factory steam line here is right here and it's really close to the uh, interfering with the uh, geometry of the intake manifold over there. So what I had to do guys is I had to cut off about 950 thou of this is the factory truck, six liter. I had to cut off 950 thou of this and I had to massage it or hit it over. So it's just pointing kind of straight up like this. So I just wanted to show you guys that before I put the intake manifold on here and show you that everything clears with the truck accessories and brackets. All right, so basically I had to modify the steam line. I just used a rubber hammer and I kind of uh, just massaged it down a little bit right here. And again, I cut about 950 thou off of this guy here because this used to be pointing like right here. So it was interfering with the uh, this corner here. So it was a little bit of interference. So again, instead of buying an aftermarket kit to fit and all that bullshit, just modify the factory factory system. And I did a video before about the steam line how you can tap into your water pump here. So that's what I've done. So what you got to do again, 950 thou off that I just used my little cutter right here to cut that piece off. And then I bent it kind of pointing straight up and down here. And uh, so here I've tapped a fitting, a 90 degree fitting into our water pump. So what happens here guys, is you just go like this and I'll do this in real time here. And then this goes here. And of course we're going to put a, a clamp on here and we're putting it on for the for the final time hopefully you can see that so i'll put a clamp on there and a clamp on this side and that's our steam system taken care of so what i'll do now is i'll place the intake on there just to show you guys how good it fits and clears all the truck stuff because the uh, btr one didn't work for me so there you go so again here's the steam line right here well, there is clearance quarter inch so it, every, it clears everything 
And as you guys can see, this is where the manifold will sit when it's bolted. You see that? So looks good, everything clears. You see that steam line goes here, belt is on, water pump is good, everything clears here. So yeah, this is a 102 uh, throttle body, so pretty big. Again, truck accessories, because this was originally a six liter. Now it's of course a little bit bigger than that, 6.7 or 408 cubic inch engine. So yeah, that works. And here's our 4.3 reducer. So this goes on here, like so, like that. And then your piping goes to your intercooler and hooks everything up. And I just wanted to mock this up just to make sure everything fits. It does, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so that's great, guys. So yeah, so that fits. And again, I wanted to show you quickly what you do with a steam line here to make everything work. So you can kind of see it here. Here's the hose. I'll put a clamp on there when, you know, it goes back into the car. But uh, yeah, looks good. Everything fits, guys. And again, guys, thanks for watching. I'm, and again, this was part of the unboxing video. So we went a little bit further here, explained some tech. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. It works.